Hello guys, welcome to this video. Here we will learn how to customize the default dashboard of Laravel 9. Our this default Laravel dashboard will be converted to uh, such a design. Uh, this is this one is very simple yet very effective. You can see we have a, a collapsible or collapsing sidebar and the menu is uh gone from the top nav to the sidebar yet the other elements like logo or this uh, logo drop down uh, are on their own places so how can we do this one let's learn the first thing is how to install laravel i assume that you already know how to install laravel and set up the laravel breeze if you already don't know you can find it in the and uh, documentation of laravel first install laravel then uh, set up the laravel breeze to log in and create user accounts or simply the authentication of laravel when you have when you are done with the laravel authentication and setup of laravel breeze we can continue with our uh, the, uh, with our uh, customization the second thing is to design a sidebar a collapsible sidebar uh, for designing a collapsible sidebar i'll give the link in the description of a video in which i uh, try to uh, show you how to design such a sidebar uh, the video will show you and that how to design this thing and exactly this is the result of the previous uh, our previous video in which we designed this uh, collapsing sidebar after reviewing that view that video you can come back and watch this video so here we assume two things that you already know the installation and setup of laravel breeze laravel and laravel breeze setting uh, the second thing you know how to design a collapsible sidebar with the tailwind css and alpine js uh, let's do it i have a fresh laravel installed with La laravel breeze you can see it in front of you and i'll uh, uh, develop this one uh, change the design of this one to uh, to such a design and then uh, integrate it with this laravel so first let's get started customizing our sidebar which we created in the previous video so opening that file in the visual studio code let me open that file and also open it in the browser so here you go we got the file that is sidebar.html and it is open in our uh, in my uh, visual studio code so let's go to the this one and go live with this one to monitor the changes now everything is ready ready to customization let's remove this button because only one button is okay and that is enough so i'm removing this one uh, the button from the sidebar instead we will um, instead this div will be used to place the logo of our new application and only this button is okay that one after that coming to the body section and inside the body we will add some padding this is the body and uh, like we will add a padding of two okay so that is fine we are ready and just change this icon and for this changing this icon also we can just give it a um, background as uh, changing the icon and giving it a background color bg let's say gray 800 change the uh, okay so we're removing the padding from there and bringing it to the this section this div class padding 2 
that is okay and changing the sidebar color also from gray 500 to gray 800 that is okay and everything is good now we can uh, collapse and expand that is fine now it's time to take this one to our um, to our laravel project i just copy this section and the uh, this from the with the wrapper with all the things copy it from here and take it to our uh, laravel project and let's open our La laravel project open folder file was the dashboard and when the file is open so here i will just use php artisan command php artisan serve it on a custom port 300 and it is ready now next i'll run the npm run watch to run the watchdog or watcher uh, for the changes of css and html files let's see what we get on our browser this is the laravel 300 okay we are already here and we have the dashboard previously i've created the test account uh, i copied the sidebar with the all contents and now coming to our resources folder in the our lot inside our lot project to views and inside the layouts hunting the file app.blade.php i'll put the layout copied from there inside our body section here and paste it here let's save it and check what we get on the browser we get something like this here now it's time to place things that we need here for example we need to place the logo uh, here in this section so we'll go and do that where is the logo logo is actually in the navigation uh, file of laravel here we have a logo section i'll uh, cut it from here or simply copy from here to our web our new layout and where to paste it above the uh, sidebar so here we have a div and there i'll paste it let's check what we get we get the logo we got the logo here that is fine now it's time to bring the uh, this one this drop down to this side so let's go to again to the navigation and here we have the setting drop down and i'll copy this one and paste it on the uh, on the header section of our body part let's paste it here and refresh we got it here and i next i'll bring it to i'll move it to the right side with the help of uh, flex so we already have the um, flex uh, property assigned to our div our top nav div, top bar div i'll just say justify between it means that for the navy uh, justify space between you can see that we got it here next we will again come to logo and set up the logo logo is here let's say item center and for the container of the logo okay width is full height is auto padding is four Ooh, and the i'll assign a background color for it let's say bg white or bg gray 100 here the position the padding is four i'll just reduce it to two and just say f instead of saying justify and i'll say justify center to bring the logo to center uh, the thing which is remaining is to bring this menu or this navy and nav items from the top to our sidebar and instead of this one so i'll copy that layout start navigation which is responsible for uh, viewing or for showing the navigation bars and paste it to our sidebar which is here 
under the logo here we have the logo and in this place paste it and let's say what we get we get something like this so now we'll uh, go to this navigation file and customize it for our own we have to put these two things the header and the main from here cut it from here and paste it inside the body section in the body we have just this p paragraph tag i'll put it here paste this to main and header section of laravel here you go we got this one here and i'll remove this background uh, red here you go now ready to remove the defaults of uh, laravel here you go uh, okay now coming to customize our nav bar i'll save this navigation file i'll save as this navigation bar as sidebar dot blade dot php and customize it instead of um, customizing the original navigation i'll customize this sidebar and as well as including this one inside our design they are start nav bar sidebars and coming to this one i'll just uh, i'll remove all the sections except this one this navigation links bottom to top i remove everything and just put that there you can see we got the navigation link here and now uh, that is fine we have the hidden option here for that i will remove that one and remove all these classes from here i can just say mm, the width is full and it should be a flex and flex call and a gap of five with a gap of five let's save it here we got and let's add a padding as well let's say padding four we get something like this one next let's add another link to this one i'm copying this one and pasting uh, changing the let's say user changing the route to user so the to user and the return to user okay now saying you route user is not defined so i'll again back change it to the dashboard everything's fine you can see we got this one and finally so now you are free to add more routes to add icon instead of this one and uh, uh, change the color of this one everything else that was it thank you very much